Welcome. So what I have here is f of x equals 8 times x to the 11th power minus 2 times x to the 9th plus 3 times x to the 6th plus 4. So what we need to do in this equation is we need to determine the end behavior. And to do that, we need to make sure that it first has exponents that are in descending order, which this is. So therefore, we can determine that the degree is equal to 11 and the leading coefficient is equal to 8. Now, the next thing I like to do is determine is the degree even or odd. Well, the number 11 is odd. So therefore, that's going to produce me two different types of end behavior. My graph is either going to fall left, rise right, or my graph is going to rise left, and fall right. Now, there can be any sorts of graph or little hoops and turning points that can happen in between the end behavior. But what we're concerned about is not what the function looks like right now, just what the end behavior is going to be. And the end behavior is going to be true for all odd degrees. Now, if it's positive, if my leading coefficient is positive, then it falls left, rises right. If my leading coefficient is negative, it rises left, falls right. Well, this is positive, obviously. That's a positive 8. So therefore, we're not going to worry about what it would be if it was negative. So now we just look at this graph and say, all right, this graph now falls left and rises right. We could also write this in a more formal way by taking a look at our x-axis and our f of x-axis and knowing that infinity and negative infinity, here would be negative infinity on the f of x-axis, and here's positive infinity on the f of x-axis. So I can also write this more formally as saying, as my x-coordinates approach infinity, f of x-coordinates approach infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your end behavior of your polynomial function. Thanks.